when I was in the military, I had to look at the terrain, I had to look at the environment, I had to look at the, the rebels or the militia group where, that were fighting or were training. I don't know, where, wherever the mission is. But the thing is, you got to know your distance. Right? And you got to be confident with shooting a certain distance. Like in a counter terrorist unit, we have to be confident in shooting a low percentage target, which is a headshot, six, yard, uh, six inches, headshot at 25 yards. If you know you can hit that every time, right, everything else is fucking easy. So that's why I like the three inch box this morning. If you can hit the three inch box consistently with speed and structure, then that's where I need you to be. A lot of you guys are hitting this three inch box and it's great, you're great marksmen. But now it's gonna open up, right? Because a lot of your grip is, it's, uh, it's not there. A lot of you guys are over presenting the weapon, right? Over presenting the weapons all the way out at full presentation. Think about it. If, if I was to, <clears throat> big guy, right? Hold out your horns, right? And don't let me move it, right? So if, if I can, see, I can move everything. Press it back. Now, now wedge in. It's harder wedge in your, your hip line. Right? It's harder for me to move than coming out. It's fully extended. Right? Fully extended, the recoil is going to go right here because there's no try to stop that. You can't. Understand? So at the full presentation, what do you lose? Controllability at the snap of the gun, right? So if the gun snaps, it's going to take a little bit to what? To re-index, correct? Okay. So some of the issues I saw this morning is full presentation. Some of you guys are pinning your trigger to the rear. Clear gun. So wall here. I don't know they teach us in law enforcement, but it's a bad habit, okay? When I say pin the trigger to the rear, as you're engaging, it cycles and you're still pinned to the rear and then you're gonna let it off into a mechanical reset and you're gonna fire again. Is that what you guys are doing? Some of you guys are, okay? So what happens is if you're doing this and you're pinning it to the rear, you're letting it off and then you're resetting like this, you're training the, you're training the snapshots, uh, the split times in between to be fucking long, right? Because you're stretching on that thing, right? So for me, it's about coming off the trigger, okay? Look guys, I learned this, so at, at a certain stage in the war, I was like, look, if I'm in a close quarters gunfight at this, this fucking, at this distance, I don't have time to think. I don't have time to fucking think. I don't have time to, you know, almost impossible to react. I have to just draw the gun. Everything has to be in muscle memory. Understand? Okay. So a lot of you guys are burning through the trigger, as in, okay? What's that not allow me? Accuracy, guys. You want to be able to pull the trigger with bare minimal movements on the, the weapon. So I want to be able to clear the weapon, bare minimum movements on the weapon. If I'm burning through the trigger, what happens? It's going to cause a lot of movement on that, on that weapon. Second, you're not taking off the slack. A lot of you guys are not taking off the slack to the wall. You have to take the slack off to the wall. Understand what I'm saying? You have to ride it to the wall and then drop it once you hit the wall. On presentation, this is the next drill. The next drill is called the presentation drill. Presentation drill is I'm standing here. I'm going to move to my, 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 my holster. So clear gun. Here, I'm going to break nice and slow. I'm going to move it up to my eye line. Okay? To my eye line. On presentation drill, watch my, my presentation. This is called presentation. This is called leveling the gun. See, look at the, the sights. I'm leveling the gun. See how it's level right here? Some of you guys, some of you even, some of you advanced shooters do this. Look at my head. You're dipping down to the sights of the gun. No, you don't dip down to the sights of the gun. 
When you dip down to the sights of the gun, what happens? What? Yeah, you're going to tense up, right? Because you're kind of rolling, rolling these shoulders in. And it's unnecessary movement, right? Why would I come down here and go like this, stand a gun? Why do you think we developed that muscle memory? Where do you think that muscle memory came to do this? Okay. <laughs> yes. Throw the gun. Um, no. So a lot of rifles nowadays is what the sight to bore. We drop the sight to bore ratio, right? So I mean, even on my rifle, I have to dip my head because I dropped the sight to bore ratio. If you're used to shooting rifles, you're going to naturally drop your. If you're a YouTube fucking educational guy, you're probably going to do that because a lot of guys on YouTube do this stupid shit, right? When you do that stupid shit like this, what you're doing is you're exercising muscles that does not need to be exercised. Therefore, other muscles need to fire to compensate for this fucking muscle that's fucking stressed out. Understand? If your neck is like strained out like this, you don't think that you're going to compensate for that? You are. Because it's not natural. What is natural is how you're standing right now. How you guys are standing right now, if I'm standing here, remember my foot placement? Here, like this, relax the shoulder, and basically I just bring the gun up to my eye line. Nothing dips, nothing drops. So the presentation, this is called presentation drill. No movements on your shoulder or anything, you bring it up, high on the pull, high on the pull, because you go low on pull, what happens? You're bowling it in. If you go high on the pole, you bring it up to presentation. I'm working high compress right now. So high compress looks like this. Sight. Sight underneath which eye? Dominant eye. So for me and, and, and all the other skilled guys with the right hand and left eye, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it here, right? And then when you bring it to presentation, this is called the presentation drill. Clear gun. On presentation, once I level that gun, it goes off. It doesn't do this. No. Everything needs to be manipulated from three to four. Three to four is side alignment, side picture, taking off to the wall to dropping that hammer on presentation. Not this. Defeats the purpose. This is how it needs to look. If you're missing, then you need to slow down your presentation. What am I building right here? Muscle memories for what? This, guys, this is the most important distance that you have to traverse in your gun skills. The reason why is because from this distance to here, you're picking up the threat. Okay, you're, you're bringing out the gun to presentation, you're taking that, that trigger to what, the wall. You're lining up to the threat, right? If you're a reflective sight, you're threat focused. If you're a um, fixed sight, you're front sight focused, understand? So a lot of different shit is going on here, the focal focus, to, to threat, um, situation awareness, to fucking prepping that trigger, to dropping that hammer on presentation. Any questions on presentation? Can you describe <clears throat> the trigger as you're kind of like you know, going to your presentation, like which wall you're at at which stage on the... This is a 1911, so it has a cleaner wall, but it's the same thing with a, a Glock or any striker fire pistol. I'm gonna demonstrate on this and then I'll demonstrate on the Legion striker fire. All right, so if I'm here, see the trigger finger is off, right? It's off the trigger. So as, as soon as the gun levels, that's when the trigger finger comes on, see? As soon as it levels. I don't wanna see this. Okay? For 1911, safety switch on. Guys, you need it. For the 1911 guys, you should be activating this thumb safety. You should be activating thumb safety. Look how I activate it. See, I activate thumb, I'm back. Fire, I'm back, okay? For the 1911 guys, all right. So on presentation, as I'm coming here, I'm already to the wall. I can shoot right now, okay? So if I'm over my dominant eye, 
can I pop them right now? You better believe it, okay? So if I'm here, I'm gonna rate to the wall, and as soon as I prep, I'm prepping. And as, as, as I'm pushing, what do you think I'm doing with my elbows? I'm wedging the gun, okay? So clear gun, guys, clear gun. Part, 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 yeah. So watch, watch, get where you can see my presentation, here. Watch me drop. I see my front sight. I got front sight all the way through. Front sight, front sight. As soon as that gun levels, see? As soon as it levels, watch. Level. I don't want to see this. <laughs> some of you guys are doing that, like, you guys are doing this. Some, some of you guys are doing this. Right? Some of you guys are doing this. So remember, just stand there, nice and relaxed, watch. That's it. That's it. Your, your tactical stance is your normal stance, right? Eyes and ears, meet me down range. Eyes and ears, nice and slow. So I see my front sight. I'm gonna press, once it levels, fires. Okay, easy drill, easy drill. Notice how I started picking up my speed, right? Look guys, you have to build up the muscle memory first. Remember the Glock guys, the Glock guys, there's three walls. I want you to understand, understand that trigger prep. This is where, this is, this is where it gets really interesting, right, with the gun, because you, you guys understand the fundamentals of marksmanship now. Now it's about proficiency on a gun. Right? What is the structure I need? What is the stance I need for situation awareness? How do I need to snap the gun? How do I need to prep the trigger? What is the distance and the speed I need to flow at at the shooter's ability right now? What's the three things that matter? Distance. Distance, size of target, shooter's ability. Now I'm throwing more shit on your plate. So your shooter's ability, if you're not ready for a presentation, you need to slow it down. Second, if you're like really fast and then you find yourself finding a wall out here, that's not what I want. I need you to find a wall somewhere in between here. By the time you land, that thing goes. All right, so I had a good point about a red dot, right? So what I want to do, what I'm trying to mimic on a fixed sight, think about a fixed sight here. Without the optic, fixed sight. If I have my fixed sight and I'm tracking this movement, what am I doing with the fixed sight? I'm dropping the fixed sight from 12 o'clock to threat. It's always gonna come in at 12 o'clock position. The fixed sight, think about it. If I'm here, it's always gonna come in to 12 o'clock, understand? Now, I'm gonna take you to a reflex sight. If I shoot the same way with a reflex sight, look at the window. Is it not gonna drop in from 12 o'clock to threat? The optic? So think about it. If, if the red dot's here, and look at my, if I'm dropping here, the red dot's gonna enter from 12 o'clock to threat. Just the same as a fixed sight enters from 12 o'clock to threat, understand? So the path of a gun needs to be instilled right now. So if I'm looking at the threat, if I'm looking at the threat right here, look at my, look at my, uh, front sights right here, right? And I have an optic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer from the front sight to the optic. I'm gonna use the front sight to track to the threat and I'm gonna transfer that into the optic. Did that make sense? Proficiency on presentation is what I'm looking at. If you're not, if you're not landing that shot by the time you hit four, then everything else is wrong in between right here. Jeff. All right, load and make ready if you need to. The line's hot, the drill is presentation, one round at a time, one round at a time for one magazine. From the holster every time? Uh, from the holster every time or from ready? Yeah, draw the first one and go back to position three. It's three to four, one round, one magazine. Upper deck, upper deck. The line's hot on you. Good. Oh, no. Yeah.
Pick it up. Right. Right. As it drops, boom. As it drops, boom. As it drops, boom. There's no sense in waiting. Oh, shit. It's in the light. All right, host your gun. Okay. Yeah. Jeff. Thank you. All right, especially the guys with the optics. It's threat focused. I'm not looking for the for the dot in the optic. I'm looking at my threat, and as that dot starts to present itself into the threat, I'm pressing through the wall. I don't need to wait for the dot to settle here like a front sight. As the dot tracks from 12 to 6, I'm pressing boom. I'm pressing boom. I'm pressing boom. I'm not pressing boom because it defeats the purpose of the dot. The dot is made to process information much faster. You're threat focused. You're not looking at the dot. What he talked about with your head dipping, if you have a problem finding your dot, it's because you're your dot is going 12 to 6 and your head is going 12 to 6 right behind it. There's no point of reference for it to stop. Keep your head still and just let the dot fall, let the dot fall, let the dot fall, but my head's not moving. The other thing to remember with a dot, the, the dot does not have to be in the center of the glass. If the dot is anywhere in the glass and it's here, touch it because it's parallax free to a 50, parallax free-ish to about 50 yards. Okay, so don't think that, oh, I've got to center that dot up right in the window. The dots let you be sloppy on your sight picture because I'm not looking for a sight picture. I'm looking at my threat. So don't try to center it up. Stop seeking perfection in sight alignment, sight picture with a dot. All right? Yeah, when I tell you guys to land in position four and fire the weapon, that means fire the weapon, right? Not find your dot, not try to focus, I need you to land in position four and fire the fucking weapon because everything else needs to work on the fundamentals from here to here. I'm trying to short up your fundamentals and your travel time for you to land in that position four and fire that weapon. Some of you guys say I'm landing in position four and I'm firing the weapon, you're not. You're taking a fucking a second to sight in that optic or sight in that front sight. I need you to land and fucking fire the weapon. If you're missing, then everything else needs to be worked from here to here. You need to go slower from here to here. Understand? Okay, next iteration up. Load and make ready. Load and make ready. Lower deck target. The line's hot on you. There we go. Okay. All right. Post your gun. What is this called? Fishing, right? I'm not fishing, right? If I have my front side here, I'm tracking the front side through. I'm not doing this. Now I don't have front sight, and then now I'm dropping in. That's a waste of movement. I have here, just here. Also, a lot of you guys are doing this. You're kind of coming low, right? So that defeats what? The purpose of the front sight. So if, if I'm coming here low, what reference point do I have right here to the target? I don't see front sight or optic until I get around full presentation. If I go to a high compress, I have, I have front sight all the way through. If I'm here, I don't see anything all the way up into here. Understand? So when I tell you get your gun up, it's not here to presentation, right? It's not here to present. It's here. This is called high compress. This is what we're going for right now. So the next drill is a low or uh, you could call it Suli, you can call it the fuck you want, low compress, right? But I'm here like this, okay? So the next drill is this wrist is broken, I'm here like this, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap that gun. Here, and snap that gun up. Notice how I'm at an L, 
right here. So when I'm at an L, it pivots, it pivots into the thumb over thumb position, okay? Here, we see it here. So it's gonna be a low, low Suli position right here. You're gonna look at the threat and you're gonna bring it up and you're gonna fire. Once you land here, that's when you fire. Okay, so I'm here. Once I land, I'm firing. Okay? Okay. Eyes and ears, from this position here, I'm gonna nice bring it up nice and slow. Fire. Bring it up nice and slow. Fire. See how as soon as it lands, it goes. Okay? 